our project all native mi2 what is mi2 means made in india mii means mi squared or mi2 so these are my top five selling uh, made in india alternatives which are great performers as well coming starting with first one it comes in 20 ml and 50 ml two sizes no 20 ml we do when we launch a fragrance and then we switch to 50 ml ultimately so it's alexa white this is inspired by office for men by jeremy ultimate clean freshy lasts for good eight to ten hours in indian weather our second most popular is shiva sutra it's an evening scent inspired by uh, Nasamato's black afghano it, it, it's a uh, smell a lot of patchouli smoke slight wood as well then it's black cardamom it's a designer alternative it's alternative of ysl's la nuit de la home the previous version so it's quite potent compared to the new ones this is our latest one on the block it's called d money d money or the Ryodin by project alternative this one inspired by nishane ani it's a really nice musky fruity vanilla blend i mean this one never fails to get compliments Next up is Shipre Funk. These are over 50 ml made in India bottles. I'll be telling you about price points as well. This is a really nice fruity Shipre. What does fruity Shipre mean? It has these green elements along with fruitiness. So that means it's, it, it, it has this oom factor. I mean, it, it's a very different smell, more different. You smell more compliments you draw. It's simple. So it's Shipre Funk. We sell on an average, these 20 ml go for about 500 to 600 or dollar 10 these 50 ml goes for about 40.99 or dollar 20 and these are 25 percent concentrated quite well blended the match profile is absolutely 90 percent plus all of them there is nothing which would be you know said as a substandard everything we have been doing here is top notch we pick up the best variants we pick up the best oils and bring it to you guys so this project all native made in india talking to next this one we'll be talking about uh, our import exclusives so when i say import exclusive that means we import them exclusively in india and our first one in this is the top seller is the hair of signature poor home people who are into community since a long time know house of uh, zahra from george he is a uh, super i mean i would say a social media superstar he creates a lot of fragrances with and along with collaborating with a lot of people who are quite good people in community so uh house of zaharoff you must check out though right now we really do not have a lot of them in stock except for signature but uh, i'm planning to we are planning to redo a uh, restock pretty much soon we'll have they have about eight to ten variants now we'll have all of them coming in in a few weeks next i have is navitis this house comes from us again uh, the creative director is steven from red Olescent and big beard business both are amazing content creators on youtube so and these are their top five fragrances what i feel you must check out though uh, they have a lot of 30 around 30 fragrances exo brandy if you are into boozy gourmands you must check out look at this color it's exo brandy is a must check out from this house if you love uh, Jorge Lee as a perfumer, Nishin Hakiwad being one of his creations, uh, Awake by Navitas is a really nice coconut Malubi, uh, Malibu freshy, a coconut freshy which is amazingly fresh and uplifting in the summer. So next is Empyreal. This is again for gourmand lovers. This is sweet fragrance with slight boozy more gourmand notes in this done by my son francis Kirksha and i mean that that itself says it why you should check it next two would be these two freshies this is elation and this is warm mateen both are amazingly uplifting fragrances going by price range these bigger bottle cost around uh, mrp goes around twelve thousand, but we sell these for eight thousand and these ones goes for about 10,000 but we here after discount these go for 6,000 to 7 so these are all 100 ml comes with nice luxury presentation that's house of Navitis then we have another in-house uh, brand which is called uh, Centedelic this started from project alternative itself where my younger brother used to take care of couple of designs but then we saw this has the potential of being a separate brand itself then we came up with so what we have are the top sellers here the first one is these all come with psychedelic artwork like these 
so bottles you would see they are they both come in 50 ml so with these being uh, curve, curve bottles here and a 3d design it has got laser etching two or three processes going on so once you get it in hand you would actually would visualize the fragrance in 3d so this is called call of the wild it is inspired by Sauvage elixir the next top seller is ultra instinct this is inspired by uh, jenny Maid. Uh, then comes teenage mutant which is paco phantom because uh, there is no clone to paco phantom as of now which i have seen so this one is definitely the one if you're looking for this is voodoo priest by inspired by red tobacco next is uh cosmic rudra here so all of them there's been a lot of work gone into designing that you guys could see it's by uh ormond jain nawab of ood intensivo inspired so these are like this is like a curated line where which is focusing to a niche wood audience this one is sold out so i was showing it first this is dopamine bulgari tiger inspired so these are a couple of blends which i would six of them which you could start with there's one more timeless 2.0 it's gurdam vetiver inspired and these are the trending ones uh, so what what the idea behind this video is to curate what's the best in each line so if you guys are thinking of pulling a trigger on project alienative or scentedelic or kanoj perfumery you guys should start with these ah uh, next up next up next in-house uh, brand is libology so what libology focuses on is elements of perfumery what we do and we focus on a prime element or two or three elements and based around that we come up with very minimalistic yet complex fragrances so the if you want to get started with this the first one is sandal 33 inspired by Lebo, uh, Le Labo's santal 33 this one is a really nice uplifting sandalwood blend and it's tranquility it's like the one of the best fragrances to meditate or when you're having a me time the next is very uplifting watermelon and bergamot for this is a heat killer if it's and it gets compliments like anything so i mean watermelon and bergamot itself smells so refreshing next is spice guava this literally smells of that guava mixed with spices that we used to have back in our school days in in middle of the classes or lunch breaks it's like that it's like the memory is coming back spice guava then is tangerine tuberose it's a floral zesty floral blend uh, very Indian because of the tuberose used in it and tangerine gives it a, a very zingy vibe so it, it, it's also quite a great uh, woman oriented scent this is sour pineapple this is pineapple in a very different non aventus kind of take this would remind you a little bit of black excess LXS that used to be there so that was more strawberry dominant dominant this is more pineapple dominant so these are few creative blends which we have done there are ton more to it patchouli bogomot then there is cardamom the best part you can buy them individually and layer them and come up with anything you want that's the whole concept of uh, libology that's why we named it libology so this was about next in-house brand libology I think I'm pretty much done with my top five list. We have covered a lot of top five. My next top five are going to be top five Arabic houses, top five influencer houses as well, and a couple of more. Stay tuned, move it, check it out.